Do you have itchy, red, burning eyes? I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care, and in this video, I'll review the best treatments for itchy, red eyes, or what eye doctors call allergic conjunctivitis. And stick around until the end of the video, because I'll also review some eye drops that patients often use for itchy eyes, but doctors almost never recommend. And if used incorrectly, it can even be harmful to your eyes. Okay, before we go through all the treatments for itchy eyes, let's first discuss what allergic conjunctivitis is. Allergic conjunctivitis is inflammation of the conjunctiva, which is the tissue that covers the eyeball and lines the eyelids. When our eyes come into contact with allergens such as pollen, dust, or pet dander, the cells in our bloodstream trigger an allergic response. We have specific cells called mast cells, and when they become activated by allergens, they release inflammatory chemicals such as histamines and cytokines into the blood vessels in our eyes, which causes our blood vessels to dilate and our eyes to become red, swollen, and itchy. Okay. Now that we have an understanding of allergic conjunctivitis, let's discuss the best treatments for it. The first line of treatments that eye doctors most commonly use are antihistamine drops. In my experience, the two eye drops in this class which provide the fastest and longest lasting relief are olopatadine, which is sold under the brand name Patidae, and ketodafin, which is sold under the brand name Aloe or Zatador. These eye drops work by preventing histamine from causing inflammation around the eye, which provides more immediate relief. They also prevent mast cells from releasing their inflammatory chemicals, which provide soothing relief from future outbreaks. Some patients respond better to one eye drop over the other, so if you've tried one of these eye drops several times and it isn't providing you with enough relief, then your eye doctor may suggest that you try a different brand. One last eye drop in this group of medications is azelastine, which is available only through prescription. So if patients have tried some of the over-the-counter options and are still having stubborn, itchy eyes, I sometimes have them try azelastine, which can also provide relief. For patients who have severe allergic conjunctivitis, or for patients who've tried several different antihistamines but still suffer from symptoms, doctors can also prescribe steroid eye drops. I generally recommend more mild steroids such as lodopredinol or fluoromethylone because steroid eye drops can have side effects such as increased eye pressure or early cataract formation if used for long periods of time or if used incorrectly. If I prescribe steroid eye drops, I usually advise patients to only use them for a short time, maybe one or two weeks during the big allergy flares to avoid the risk of developing side effects. For patients who are suffering from other symptoms of allergies, such as sneezing or nasal congestion in addition to the watery, itchy eyes, I typically recommend an oral antihistamine. In general, oral antihistamines are more effective when you use them preventively. So for example, if you know you have seasonal allergies and are allergic to pollen every spring, then you should start taking these oral antihistamines daily at the beginning of pollen season to prevent more severe allergy flares. For this class of medication, I typically recommend non-drowsy second-generation antihistamines such as Allegra or Claritin. Fortunately, many of these medications are available over the counter. The next treatment strategy for allergic conjunctivitis is allergen exposure reduction. The first step in avoiding allergies is to first identify what's triggering your allergic response in the first place. You want to figure out when your symptoms are occurring. Is it after you go outside, during specific times of the year, after you got a new pet? The most common allergens to keep in mind include pollen, pet dander, or dust. After I've worked with a patient to identify their allergy triggers, we can make strategies to help them avoid these triggers. For example, if we figured out that a patient is allergic to pollen, I advise them to close the windows at their home or while they're in the car, and to run an air conditioner or air purifier when they're inside. And for patients who can't really pinpoint their triggers and continue to have symptoms, I recommend that they visit an allergy specialist to help them identify which allergens might be responsible for their symptoms. The next treatment I recommend for patients are OcuSoft Allergy Eyelid Wipes. These little wipes are used to clean the base of the eyelids, so you can wipe away any allergens stuck on your eyelashes. They're pre-moistened with tea tree oil and green tea extract to help provide symptomatic relief. You can use these wipes twice a day, in the morning when you get up and at nighttime before going to bed. Okay, now that we discussed some of the most effective allergic conjunctivitis treatments, I wanna mention some eye drops that patients often use for allergies, but is a drop most doctors almost never recommend. These drops are the redness relief eye drops you could find in any pharmacy. Some common brands are Clear Eyes, Visine, or Nafcon A. The main active ingredient in these eye drops is nafazolin, which is a vasoconstrictor meaning that it constricts the blood vessels on the surface of the eye to make it look less red. Although your eye may look better with these drops, they're not really treating the underlying cause of the redness and the itching, which is allergy. So after the drop wears off, 
the eyes will look red again and you'll start to feel the itching and irritation because you never really address the underlying cause. This leads to a vicious cycle of constantly having to use the drops to make the redness go away. And if you use the drop for more than a few days, the eye begins to develop a tolerance to the drug and it becomes less effective. And when you stop using the drop, your eyes develop rebound redness and irritation, making your eyes feel worse than before you started using them in the first place. And on top of all that, another side effect with these drops is that they can cause dilation of your pupils and can be associated with blurry vision and glare. So for all of these reasons, when a patient comes in to see me using redness relief drops such as clear eyes or visine, I switch them over to something more effective and less habit forming. Okay, so that was a pretty comprehensive review of allergic conjunctivitis. In summary, if you're suffering from itchy red eyes, a good first line treatment option is dual acting antihistamine eye drops such as Patidae or Zatador. If you have other symptoms such as nasal congestion and sneezing with your itchy eyes, you may want to add on an oral non-drowsy antihistamine such as Allegra or Claritin. It also helps to identify what's triggering your allergies such as pollen or pet dander and to reduce exposure to those triggers. If you've tried some basic treatments but you're still having symptoms, then a good next step would be to set up an appointment with your ophthalmologist so that they can do a full examination and work with you to come up with a treatment plan. Okay, I think that's enough information for this video, but if you're in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and would like help in treating your itchy red eyes, feel free to visit our website or give us a call to set up an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chuba with Puente Hills Eye Care. See you next time.